like on disembarkation landing on a ship. <laughs> I just kind of like this at home now. I'm sad. I feel like I'm moving out. It is sad. It is. I know. Oh, I want to go swimming today. I want to go in the ocean. Sit on my balcony. Not ready, but we're going. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ready or not. <laughs> ready or not, here we come. That's right. <laughs> Two hours from now, we'll be sitting on a plane. Yep. And then Very a couple hours day. after that, we'll be in, Me in Texas. <laughs> Was y'all's van to the Chichen Itza similar with us? Our van to Chichen Itza was this exact van. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like exactly. Except, Except for the, the air seats, didn't work. The seats it was were a little bit nicer. It was like a party bus. It was a Mercedes. Yeah. I don't know what this is, but the seats look the same and everything. Phone chargers and USB chargers. Oh, very cool. That's nice. Yeah, but the air was terrible. Like the only thing it shot out was warm air. It was absolutely terrible. Especially if we were walking in the ruins for two hours and you... And then you come in here and there's, it was terrible. Oh my goodness. Terrible. Ready to fly home? It is 12.10. Uh, Our boarding time is 1.46. And the flight's only about two hours and 15 minutes. So it won't be long and we'll take it in there with us, you guys. Let's grab our luggage. I'm so sad to leave. It's been the most amazing time ever. Uh, but what do you think, Menara, about land versus like the similarities between? There's actually not a lot of similarities. Well, there kind of is actually. It's like being on a cruise, but on land. That's not. Because being on a cruise is being on a cruise. Okay, we're gonna have to make a video of this land versus sea yes. vacation, right? My is completely, absolutely different. It feels different, In like. Every way. You don't get anything that you get on a cruise that you at all. Except if you're in the same place you might go on a cruise. That's literally it. Yeah. It's completely different. We'll make a video about that. I put all my liquids away. <laughs> panic, panic, panic. Oh, your papers? Passports. We need to get them out right now? Yeah. Okay. You need your uh, boarding passes and your passport. Okay. What if you get held up in security because of your souvenir? Okay. We just went through security. Trevon put my souvenir knife Mayan replica in there and they took it. He wanted to try because it, it wasn't sharp or anything, but nah. They uh, swiped our bag for like explosives or something. And then they pulled it over, had him open it, and then he took it out and they threw it in the trash. There you go. I didn't think about that because on a cruise I could bring it, but not on a plane. What? The knife thing. <laughs> the souvenir. Yeah, $10 at least. It wasn't more than that. I just feel sad it's in the trash and someone doesn't have it. It's basically like a duty-free store on a cruise ship, except for I don't know if it's duty-free in here with the choices. Sales, some last minute Mexican products. They have a big sign that says Mexican products. Oh, wow, this is different. In here, it's big, yes. They have lots of different fun things. Huh, Starbucks again. <laughs> Look at this. Drugstore, everything. We just checked in. Is this our plane? I think it's our plane. I can't see the writing, but I think it is. Boarding the plane. Dave and Robert got a little separated somehow. I don't know why. We had to show our passport a bunch of times. And I don't know what time it is yet. I'll show you guys in the airplane. Long walk. Hello. Hi, welcome aboard. Thank you. There's the plane. I bet no extenders needed. We once again, uh, if you guys didn't see our first vlogs, these are the big sp seats on um, Spirit Airlines. I'm 310 pounds. I don't need an extender. Um, this one up here is a little tighter than the other big seats right here, but still, uh, I fit. I wasn't sure I would last time, so I didn't ride up front. There's the regular seats back there. You can see them. I get the window seat this time since Menara had it last time. Look, there's a big United plane. Bye, Mexico. See you later. Please take a moment to locate the exit near you. Keep in mind that the closest exit may be behind you. Look, we're going over a bridge, you guys, on the air, on the strip. It's so weird. <laughs>
That would be so cool. I, did, did we drive under this when a plane was coming? About, yeah, yeah. But I couldn't catch it on video fast enough. But how cool to see a big old plane going over the bridge when you're driving the car there. We're waiting in line. How many planes do you see in front of us? Oh, there we go. Never mind. There's three. There's a big Southwest, American, and then another one in front of us. Waiting in line, getting in the queue. Going. So this is the fun part. Is that a normal noise? <laughs> Bye, Mexico. See you soon. Like there's no land. Well, there's a little right there. We're getting high up. All the clouds and over the water. And this water down there. The most amazing water. I miss it already. I have had the most amazing time. I can't even, I mean, you guys will know from watching the vlogs, but spectacular, wonderful time on this vacation and with the Fenwicks. So amazing. Now they're coming around with a tray of food and snacks. I'm not getting anything because I don't want to have to go to the bathroom on this flight. Look at the ocean out there. Mm, beautiful. I know it's noisy in here, but remember guys, I was petrified of flying. And I actually really like it because I face my fears. You guys really should too if you're afraid of it. Oh my gosh, see a boat. Well, I mean, I can't see the boat, but it's a boat down there. It's 3.14. We, um, boarded at 1.46. I don't know, it's been at least an hour. But last time we couldn't see the clouds. This time you can see the ocean. Like, just, that's all ocean. Because we're just going over the Gulf of Mexico. Directly from Cancun to Houston, Texas. It's just absolutely beautiful. I wish that I would see a cruise ship down there. <laughs> that would be really cool. We're descending for arrival in Houston. There's Texas. Water's definitely different than it was a couple hours ago in Mexico. And we're turning. Candy, chocolate. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Texas. 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 Wow. I 
love flying. I love it, Manoa. And when it draw, like goes in air pocket or when it changes directions and turns, I, I love it. <laughs> and I was so afraid and now I love it so much. I used to love it until I got anxiety and then just thought that it would be scary. And so I'm super happy because literally the world has opened wow. up to me. The flight attendants on this Spirit Airlines both times have been really nice, haven't they? Yes. Like uh, exceptionally pleasant. I think that, um, I was a few days ago, so some lady got arrested because she's a flight attendant. She was drunk. Oh. And she was telling people to sit their ass down and they oh. and they're buckling their seat like this and they're doing it wrong. No. Yeah. Look how much leg room we have up here in the big seats in the front row. So nice. Plenty of space to sit in. I had a good time. I'm gonna miss the Mexican gas stations and places so much. Oh, you saw a Whataburger? <laughs> I think those buildings are there, Houston, right there, actually. Again. These are the big seats, these are the big seats. I'm off. It is, no, I'm not saying not the kids. Thank you. Thank you, you too. <laughs> that was an awesome flight. I love flying. <laughs> I know it was a smooth flight and it was short, but how do you like flying? I don't understand how people can get nervous. I don't understand if they're yeah. tight. Oh my gosh, that um gangway thing was like a hot box, wasn't it? Yes. Exactly. I could hit an oven. Right. I know. That's because I feel like I'm in Mexico. Because of the heat? Because you're in Texas. It's 90 degrees outside. Yeah. I know. Just like, just like they're coming. Two hours later and you're back in Texas. That's our plane right there, straight in front of us that they're taking all the luggage off of. And we just um, carried hours if you guys go back to the first parts of the vlogs. Well, take that back. There's like 20 days worth. Um, well, probably something about packing in there for our airplane or something. And you'll see what we brought and why we brought it. You see how hot it was in the hot box? I mean the gangway? Yeah, it was 99 degrees. 99? There's a thermostat? I feel like I was in an oven. 99 degrees. Houston, Texas, capital of the South. Went through automated customs and then regular customs and then now we're going down to the regular area. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> it's like a two-step process. Yeah. Why do the kiosk? Yeah, and then you gotta go through the regular customs. Right. Well, he said, Trevon, how would you skip going through regular customs if you had pre-registered online on the app? You saw if you go through customs, but I got to go through the short one. Okay. Then I had an X, so I didn't have to have my Oh. Yeah, if you register online first, you get to go through a shorter line. There was like way less people. They're a passport app, you guys. And we didn't check any baggage, so we don't have to pick any up. Paper said this is the international terminal right here. Get on our Eco Park 2 bus because we parked in offsite parking. Once again, you guys can find the other vlog where we uh, did that. Not bad, $42 for a week of parking here at um, Eco Park 2 at the Bush Airport. 
That's they want almost that much for a day inside the airport. In Orlando. Yeah, that's crazy. So forty two dollars for a whole week. Oh my god. At the cruise port we pay um like 160 something dollars for a week of parking. Really? Yeah. In Miami. So we're driving back to Houston and we're going to eat at Rosa's. Rosa's is where we ate. Um, did I bring my camera that time? Don't remember. But it was delicious stuffed crust pizza. I think I did, yeah. I don't think I brought my camera to Brothers or is it vice versa? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Trevon and Chris didn't get to go. We wanted good pizza again because it's so amazing. I can't imagine not having it in a long time. So we're going to Rosa's since we have not eaten at all, all day long. The stuff in the airport was so expensive in Mexico, it was $7 and some change for a bag of chips, a regular size bag, $4 for a little water. Oh, that wasn't a sweet bump. That's weird. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, we didn't eat at the resort or at a restaurant. We just thought we'd wait till we got home and have pizza. I can't wait for you guys to try it, it was amazing. 6.44 and we got to the pizza place. <laughs> we are starving. Rosa's pizza. Now we have to just wait for him to cook it. That's the hard part. And then cool down so you can eat it. Everybody doesn't feel good because we're all starving. Look. Yes, I don't think any pizza is going to waste tonight. This one has meat in it. This is just mushrooms, onions, and peppers. This one is... Oh, it looks so good. Mm, cheese. Enjoy it, you guys. Enjoy it. Oh, look, Trevon. Let me see inside, yo. Does anyone need pork? Oh, yes, please. I would like to try that meat. Thank you, pizza.